Hi guys, it's that time of week again where I answer a question from 1Q9A. And um, it's a bit of a tough one this week because I've actually been asked a question I'm not sure I know the answer to. I don't think I signed up for that, but I'll give it a go anyway. The question is as follows. Do you recommend increasing image resolutions or creating image sets to compensate for Apple's iPad Retina display? In other words, should you be using different sets of images for retina displays and non-retina displays? That is the question. See, the problem is, is that on a retina display, um, normal 72 dot per inch images look a bit pants. They um, look anti-aliased and, and, and pixelated and yucky and horrible. So how do you deal with this problem? Well, there's lots of different trains of thought. Some, uh, some people say, well, you know, that's the web and you just ignore it. Other people say that you should produce a set of images um, that are at a higher resolution and deliver those specifically to the retina display. However, I've got a problem with that. And the problem is, is that some devices that are retina display are also mobile devices. The iPhone is a good example of that. And if you go around um, creating retina level uh, graphics, they're going to be much bigger and are going to take a lot longer to download. So there's a problem and there's no easy answer. There's everything is a trade off. What I'm personally doing at the moment is I'm making the images just slightly larger than the area that I wish to place them in. So for example, if I've got a 400 pixel box, I might make the image 420 pixels wide, something like that. And it, uh, obviously that's not um, you know, fully producing the image to be completely retina um, ready, so to speak, but it seems to be enough just to make things look a little bit sharper, a little bit better, and not quite so fuzzy. Um, obviously, the ideal solution is to, wherever possible, avoid using images entirely and use vector-based stuff. So make use of um, you know, CSS gradients, uh, rounded corners, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and also, with things like icons, consider using um, a font set um, for icons instead of using graphics. There's a really good website called ICO Moon, ICO Moon, um, which allows you to upload um, uh, icon sets basically to the site and then download um, just the icons you want to use. And of course, they're vector based. Oh, you sorry, you download them as a um, font and then they're vector based and you can do anything you want with them. They're small, they're going to look crisp and great on a retina display. So I think more and more vector is maybe the answer to our retina problems rather than just producing really big images that are going to download like a dog over a mobile network. So anyway, that's my thoughts this week. You may disagree. There is no right or wrong answer to this one.